All right, Michael. A cap covered with electrodes fitting snugly on four and a half year old Michael Naderi's head. All so his brain can be scanned when he sees objects, patterns, and faces. Any chance we get to participate in any awareness or any research, I'm happy to do so. This research is being done by child neurologist Shafali Jeste at UCLA. She is testing children with autism who are enrolled in their 90-day intervention program. Do you know they're learning about your brain? Yeah. And so what we can do by putting a net on a kid's head is look at their brain activity. We can say, what is the brain doing to process that face? Or what is the brain doing to understand that pattern? Dr. Jeste says one of the main requirements for an autism diagnosis is language impairment. Kids struggle to follow commands or answer questions. Using this method makes it simpler to understand the mind. Just having them look passively at pictures is we can take away the need for the um, response because we get the response by what the brain's telling us. So here's an example of how it works. Michael is shown three pairs of shapes over and over. Then after a while, one that's different is flashed on the screen. If Michael's learned the patterns, there's a spike in his brain activity. His brain is surprised there's a different pair. If we can find that some kids who don't have language or struggle with language don't learn patterns, we can then say, well, let's do a treatment that focuses on pattern learning. By doing research like this on brain activity, Dr. Jeste hopes not only to improve treatments for kids with autism, but actually help find ways to diagnose it at a much earlier age. My hope for infants is that we can detect markers as early as possible so that if we can say this child is at very high risk for autism at six months of age, we can then start treatment that early and hopefully change that child's outcome, hopefully even prevent them from developing autism. Do you want to play guitar someday? Yeah. Do you have one here? Michael is a sweet, happy child and has learned to love this cap. He thinks it's fun. In three months, he's made huge progress. And for his mom, that's a gift. I want him to have the best life that he can have. <clears throat> and I fight so hard for him. Every day. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.